First on Fox, a young boy in Wentzville admitted to the hospital for mercury poisoning after he and his sister were first exposed from a thermometer. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman has an update on their condition. Stephanie? Well, as you can imagine, her and the rest of their family are going through a really difficult time. The pain and suffering of both of her kids now increasing, something that she hopes the rest of her family can soon avoid. All the pain resulting from the mercury poisoning that 11 year old Maddie has been suffering from now is mimicking itself for her 13 year old brother, Caleb. He got a spinal tap the other day, MRI, a lot of blood work. Um, he's in a lot of pain. Pain doesn't really seem to go away ever. Officials believe a broken thermometer spilled mercury in the brother's room and the children were inhaling toxins from that mercury over the last few months unknowingly. Caleb now joins his sister in the hospital. Maddie has antibodies that her body created to destroy the mercury, but some of them went crazy and are attacking her body. So they're working to get rid of all the antibodies, which is going to make her like her immune system very weak. Too in pain to even comment, Maddie will be in the hospital until they can make sure the mercury and pain are gone. I mean, they're absolutely scared to death. Like it's traumatizing to them. Like they're constantly poked on and tested on. Like they're scared and to see that in their face, like how scared they are. Like they, di they didn't have to be this scared. Like they didn't have to go through this. As for the other two Wentzville families, their conditions are unclear, but Nizwanger does mention her sister's kids have also been hospitalized since the mercury spill in her home, but there is hope. I mean, there's progression with Maddie. Like she is getting a little better, but like it's it's very small. So it's very discouraging that like we've been here for two months. Her concern growing as the battle against the mercury that has poisoned their life continues. Well, her and the rest of the family are currently living apart to make sure the rest of the kids are not exposed and to make sure that, that her two kids in the hospital are treated correctly. But the EPA does say that all three of these families' homes have now been cleaned, rid of this mercury, so they can all return home safely once this family and the rest of them feel better. Reporting in Wentzville, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.